Having the right shoe for a high rocks event is incredibly important. To have a shoe that either rubs or slips when you've got to cover over eight kilometers, eight functional exercises, um, it could ruin your race. That said, you don't always have to go out and buy an expensive new pair of trainers. A lot of the problems that people experience in high rocks with their footwear can often be resolved through lacing the shoes slightly differently. And that's where heel lock lacing comes in. So this is the shoe that I wore for my last Hyrox. It's the Hoka's Clifton 8s. When I first got them, uh, they felt great, but I tested them in the gym on a heavy sled push and my heel was slipping out the back. Now, could have just returned them, but I changed the lacing, so I used heel lock lacing, and that made my, my foot uh, much more secure inside the shoe so that when we pushed the sled, it wasn't slipping out the back. And, and trust me, if you're, if you're trying to push those sleds at high rocks and your feet is even your, your heel is even slipping you know just a just a few centimeters it can make s such a difference it can make it so much harder than than it really needs to be so if you do find that your shoe is slipping uh, or if you're getting a lot of blisters on the heel of your foot when you're running try out this lacing and hopefully it will help okay so with heel lock lacing you use this hole which is on pretty much all shoes but very few people use it or even know what it's for and what we need to do is create a loop either side of the shoe so you take the end of the lace or one end of the lace and loop it through that extra hole so you create a loop you do the same the other side so there you have two loops and what you need to do is create the lock so you take uh, one end of the lace, wrap it through, feed it through the, the loop on one side and then you do the same with the other side. So now you have the two loops and the lace is thread through it. Now rather than pulling up to tighten the shoe like you normally would, you need to pull it down so you tighten the lock. And what that does is secure the foot in the shoe much more effectively. And now you just tie the shoe like you normally would. And you're gonna feel it's much more, much more snug. Your heel is locked in much more effectively. It's much less likely to slip on the heavy sleds in high rock. It's much less likely to, uh, to rub on your foot. So if you find that when you're running, the heel was uh, rubbing at the back of the back of the shoe and maybe leading to blisters, that's gonna be much less likely to happen now.